This video is a mini lesson about the basics of population pyramids. It will explain what a population pyramid is and how you can use them. A population pyramid is a graph that shows the number of people in a particular place, which is usually a country, at a particular time. The people in that place are organized by sex and age group. Population pyramids help geographers understand the population's age distribution. You may choose to pause the video to write that definition down. Now that was a lot of information that I just threw at you about population pyramids, so let's break it down. Population pyramids show the number of people in a particular place at a particular time. Usually that place is a country. In this example, the country is Canada and the time is 1995. Population pyramids are organized by gender. The male population is shown on the left, and the female population on the right. Lastly, population pyramids show the age distribution. How many people, male and female, are within the age ranges on the graph? The scale of this pyramid is in millions, and there is one scale on the female side and another on the male side. So let's review. A population pyramid is a graph that shows the number of people in a particular place, usually a country, at a particular time. The people in that place are organized by sex and age group. Population pyramids help geographers understand the population's age distribution. Now that we understand the basics of population pyramids, we can begin to analyze them. There are three typical shapes that population pyramids take. In this image, you can see that the shape of the pyramid depends on the number of people in each age group. When a country has a lot of younger people, the base of the pyramid is wide, like in Pyramid A. When a country has a lot of older people, the tip of the pyramid is wide, like in Pyramid C. The shape of a pyramid can indicate a number of things that are helpful to geographers. The shape gives us information about a country's birth rate, a country's death rate, and even a country's life expectancy. Keep in mind that the shape of a country's pyramid can change over time, depending on these features. If a birth rate remains high and the death rate decreases, a country can move from a pyramid A shape to a pyramid B shape over 40 years. As a practice, let's look at a pyramid with a wide base. Here's a pyramid representing Canada's population in 1901. The wide base indicates a high birth rate. The pyramid, however, becomes narrow quite quickly, and this suggests that the death rate is also high. People seem to be dying in larger numbers in their 20s and 30s. This seems particularly true for women. I'll take a moment and think, why might women be dying in larger numbers in their 20s and 30s in Canada in 1901? I'll give you a hint, it probably has something to do with childbirth. The pyramid's height gives us an indication of life expectancy. Some people, but not very many, are living to be as old as 90. On average, though, the life expectancy was between 40 and 50 years old. I would like to talk briefly about population pyramids and using them to make predictions. By looking at the shape of a pyramid and considering factors like birth rate, death rate, and life expectancy, geographers can predict what a country's population pyramid will look like in the future. Here's a pyramid representing a prediction about Canada's population in 2050. Please pause the video and take a moment to identify some characteristics of the data in this pyramid. Welcome back. Hopefully one of the things you noticed is that the largest predicted population group will be women over the age of 80. Also, women over 80 are expected to outnumber men. An observation like that can be used to make decisions about the future. For example, if I were in the medical field, I may want to make sure that I understand the medical needs of women that age because there's going to be a lot of them in 2050. Or maybe I'm a student thinking about a career in the medical field. This data might encourage me to study geriatrics, medical studies relating to the health of the elderly. Alternatively, if I were working for a city, 
I might want to direct the city's efforts and money at transportation systems that are designed specifically for elderly passengers. Before we stop, remember when I said that the shape of a country's pyramid can change over time? It is important to remember that a population pyramid is like a picture of the population at one moment in time. It's a snapshot. Geographers can learn even more by comparing pyramids from different time periods. For example, let's look at Canada's population in 1995 and the predicted population in 2050. We can see that the large group of women in 1995, over the age of 25, have, by 2050, become the large group of women over the age of 80. By looking at pyramids over time, geographers can identify trends and patterns in a country's population. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you next time.